Hi, so I thought it might be fun to make some wartime armbands to use up some spare fabric. And in this video I'll show you the Red Cross. I have a lot of red and white linen left over from some recent flag making. So I think they would work nicely for some Red Cross armbands. The originals are likely to be made from cotton, but linen was certainly around at the time, so I'm more than happy to go with these. It's always a good idea to iron your pieces first so you have a nice flat surface to draw patterns on. I like to draw the patterns directly onto the fabric, just using a pencil where appropriate. And I got the measurements just by looking at some original examples online. For the cross I decided to make a paper pattern just to make it a little bit more accurate when cutting out. So now as you can see it's just easy to lay it onto the fabric and just draw around it. All of the seam allowances have already been included onto the pattern. And this is what I have so far, the white armband and the red pieces for the cross. So I start by folding over the edges in preparation for sewing and ironing them down to make them nice and neat, and then folding over once again to fully encase the raw edges into the seam. and then I just sew them down. In preparation for the cross I just folded the arm hand in half just to get an accurate center crease and I have already folded over the seam allowances of the cross and I've added a little bit of double-sided tape just to hold it in place whilst sewing. And the same thing for the other piece of the cross. The allowances have already been folded over and held in place with a bit of double-sided tape. And lastly, I folded over the two remaining edges and just sewed them down as well. So at this stage, this is how it looks and it is basically finished. All that's left to do is just sew together the two ends. When it comes to making wartime things, I also like to add a bit of ageing, just to make them look that little bit more authentic. There are of course many ways to age, but I like to try to age things naturally. I like to get them wet first, and then cover them in mud. You can of course apply some Hollywood weathering with acrylic paints and things like that, but I find in the elements 
natural aging holds up um, much better. So once it's covered in mud, I then just um, rinse it off in the river. And this step can be repeated as many times as you feel like to get it as dirty or as clean as you like. So once it's dried off, it looks something like this. So the color has darkened a little bit and the fabric has been distressed and I think it looks pretty good.